people onto you? Yes, I guess so. Well, I'm going to need $45 for the cab fare. And he threw up all over the back seat of my car. Um, no, here's a hundred. Will that cover it? I'm going to have to clean up by myself. Thousand dollars wouldn't be enough to clean up his mess. What's going on? We're leaving. I can't take this anymore, Richard. You're a drunk and I've had enough. I'm taking the kids to mum's. I'm impressed. It's a far cry from that cheap cask of wine I impressed you with on our first date all those years ago. <laughs> Ten years ago to this very day. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to you too. Really? Why buy such a fine wine if it's barely in your mouth long enough for you to savour it? I was thirsty. And it's not like we can't afford another one. Daddy, can you push me in the swing? I'll race ya! That's disgusting. People like that shouldn't be allowed out in public. Um, maybe we should give him our leftovers. Don't you dare. A bum like that relies on free food from suckers just like you. Hey, he can't afford to buy any food, but he's got no problem getting booze. Look at him. You're an animal! That is so disgusting. Richard, he's desperate. We don't know what he's been through. Who cares? It's no excuse. You're a disgrace. Get a job, you bum.
Hi, honey. Hey, babe. Listen, the new boss has invited a few of us out for drinks. Can't feel like I should go, and since we didn't have anything important planned, I figured it'd be okay. I haven't said yes, so it's up to you. But it's Friday night, and the kids were really looking forward to us taking them out for pizza. I know, but I want to make a good impression. What's the first shout? Uh, well, I guess we could um, order in and watch a movie or something. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Now yeah, I'll try not to be home too late. I love you. Love you too. Hello. Hey. Happy birthday. Thank you. You're doing amazing. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you came. Yeah. Shut up. I'm trying to sleep. Go away. <laughs> Good of you to make an appearance here before noon. Oh yeah, look, sorry Alex, there was there was a flat tire. I see. Another flat tire. Well, if you'd bothered to check your emails, you'd notice I've already issued you with three written warnings. I'm not required to send a fourth. You're late, you're drunk, you're fired. Clean out your desk, please. Thank you, that will be all. Where were we? Terry. Hi, Richard, is it? Yeah. Who are you? My name is Mark Hollett. I'm from the real estate company. Did you get the letters we've been sending you? All right. 
No, I haven't checked the mail today. These are sticking out of your mailbox. Looks like they haven't been collected in a couple of weeks. Is your phone currently working? Yeah, I just haven't been answering it. I see, look. I'm very sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But your rent is currently four weeks in arrears. We did send you a couple of letters a few weeks ago. Aha, uh -huh. here they are. This is to inform you that if the rent situation wasn't sorted out by yesterday's date, would have no choice but to deliver you a notice of eviction. I'm here to do that. Can you cut me some slack? I, I just lost my job, my wife left me. I'm in a really bad place right now, I but I need to get this sorted. I'm really sorry, Richard, but the matter is final. You were given notice two weeks ago. In my deepest sympathy for your predicament, but you know how it is, right? Please. I'm hoping to get a job in the next couple of weeks. Get my life sorted. You just gotta give me a chance. Well, hope is a good thing, but it makes no guarantees. You have two weeks to vacate the premises. Please make sure you do. We don't want this to get uglier than it is. I really am sorry. Come on, you've got to help me out. You owe me a favour. I don't know what else I can do. I'm a little strapped for cash myself right now. Look, I heard they're holding walking interviews over at the factory where Mike works. Maybe you can try there. But you better hurry. They're only seeing people till three o'clock. Thank you for coming in today, but I think we've narrowed down our shortlist of candidates for this job. No, please, you've got to give me a chance. I'm a really good worker. I won't let you down. Well, have you got your resume? I haven't prepared one. You see, I just left my last job. Oh, look, I really haven't got time for this. Thank you and good luck. Could you just give us a couple of minutes before you send the next one in? Thank you. That's the last of it.
my god, did you see that? It's disgusting. Ew, gross! Get a job, you bum. Voices screaming, I am losing control. How have I kept myself in this crazy world? Souls polluted, convoluted by the wretched chains of a world that won't change or accept the blame of tainting my soul. This manic depression, I have come undone. That evil possession What have I done? What have I become? I am my own worst fear I am the one I fear What have I done? What have I become? Crashing down, this nightmare takes control. Takes control. And I am trapped inside. There's no glimmer of light. With a monster in my mind. 